Over the past few days, I've been inundated with articles telling us how Wall Street is not happy that Bernie Sanders is surging pretty much to first place in the Democratic primary. Another one of these articles came out late yesterday. Title from Yahoo Finance was, here's how Bernie Sanders could cripple the stock market as president. Yeah, we've seen talk of this and other uh, national newspapers, major newspapers talking about how Bernie Sanders is going to be bad for the stock market. You know, oh my God, all hell is going to break loose if Bernie Sanders becomes president. And this particular article from Yahoo Finance talks about how bad it would be to not just have Bernie Sanders as president, but what if he appoints Elizabeth Warren to be the chairwoman of the Federal Reserve? Oh my God, the bankers are freaking out over that prospect. The reporter on this particular article talked to some hedge fund managers, you know, capital firms, things like that. The, the folks running those things that nobody really quite knows what they are or what they do unless you're involved in the stock market. The rest of us kind of shake our heads at that, like what? But anyway, these people who move money from one place to another and make tons of money doing that are panicked because they think that Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren are gonna burn down the entire system and tank the US economy as a result of it. And they're half right. We're gonna burn down the system, folks. We're gonna overhaul things. We're gonna put some regulations in place and we're gonna tax you to hell and back because you deserve it and you can afford it. As for burning down the economy in the process, that's not something that's gonna happen. See, here's what the rich and powerful don't want you to understand. And the last 40 years basically have been them trying to convince you of the opposite of this, but here it is. This economy only truly grows when the working class gets more money, when the working class is taken care of. Oh sure, the stock market soars when the rich and powerful get more tax breaks, when corporations get tax breaks, when we repeal environmental regulations, corporations cash in on that, but the middle class suffers. They don't get raises, they don't get tax cuts, they get more poison in their drinking water and they're harmed for that. And then they try to go to the doctor because they've been poisoned by the water they're drinking contaminated with these corporate toxins and they get slapped with a three or $400 bill that they can't pay even if they have insurance. So they suffer even more from all of this, from the way the system is designed. And yeah, Bernie Sanders wants to overhaul that and he wants to change things. And you know what, at first, yeah, the stock market's probably gonna take a bit of a dip. But then you know what's gonna happen? Pensions are going to increase. Suddenly this working class that didn't have a nickel to spare can start saving for retirement. And where do most retirement funds go? Into the stock market. And that's gonna make things better. Suddenly the middle class is gonna have more cash on hand if we do increase the federal minimum wage and we do enact Medicare for all and they don't have to pay those premiums or anything at point of service anymore. They have more money. And you know what the middle class does when they get more money? They go out and spend it because they have to. But at this point, some of that spending could be because they want to. Maybe they can go out and buy that new TV. Maybe they don't have to put off buying a new car and everything that they buy helps the economy and creates jobs. And when you have middle-class people spending money, the economy growing and goods being sold, the stock market increases and it doesn't matter how much you tax millionaires and billionaires, that stock market's still gonna go up when people are out there spending more money. All of these lies from these major papers telling us that Bernie Sanders or Elizabeth Warren will uh, uh, cripple the stock market are lies. They're lies. They're lies written by people who have something to lose if one of these people become president and the thing they have to lose is money, but not money from the stock market. The money that they have been hoarding for their entire lives will suddenly not be untouchable anymore. And we're gonna take a little bit of it away to help pay for these universal programs that this country desperately needs. I know what a lot of you out there are thinking. You're thinking, wouldn't it be amazing if you could wear the Ring of Fire logo across your chest? Well, now you can just head on over to our Teespring page to find some awesome merch we're offering for our viewers. 
We have more designs that are going to be added in the near future. So just follow the link in the description or take a peek at the shelf of merchandise under this video. Thanks for watching.